Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is DIY with Sarah Renee. Halloween is one of our favorite holidays in this house. We love decorating for it. We love dressing up. We love carving pumpkins. And that is the video I have for you today. I have two Halloween-esque type of DIYs. Both are so extremely simple that you're like, hmm, am I really crafting here? <laughs> am I really DIYing? Um, the answer is yes, you are. <laughs> Even the simplest creations can be very fun and the end product can be so rewarding. So our two projects today include a cheesecloth ghosty. Y'all, wait till you see these things. They are so cute. And even though they were you know, fairly messy to make, I thoroughly enjoyed this project, something that I've never worked with before. So it was really cool to incorporate a supply that I've never crafted with before. So that was really exciting. And as I'm sure you know, these up on your screen are the Pottery Barn pumpkins that everyone has been crazy about this fall. One, because they are so freaking cute. And two, because you're using supplies that you probably already have at your house. Well, today I am also jumping on that bandwagon. However, my pumpkins need to be able to stay outside. So flower was not really the option for me. Um, so today we're gonna do a paint wash instead, hopefully to get relatively the same effect that you have seen on social media this fall. Before we jump into our video today, please make sure that you like it. Give it that big old thumbs up that we all love and subscribe to my channel. And if you're ready to go see these two Halloween decor ideas, come on with me. Let's go create.
So the Pottery Dupe pumpkins that I have seen all across Instagram have been rubbed all over, sprinkled with baking soda and flour. I love the look. I think it's, I just, I love it so much. But my trouble here is these pumpkins are intended to, intended to stay outside. Can't put flour on that. Rain is going to wash that away. So instead, I'm going to do a dry brush of like a parchment. I think that's what this is. Um, yeah, a parchment. So it'll still give us that illusion of the flour or the baking soda, but it's going to stay. So I'm going to do this now, dry brush it all over the pumpkins, and then I'm going to seal it and we're done. I'm so excited about this project. So here we go. <laughs> So I turned around to face the sun and you can tell a huge difference between the whitewash and the knot. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So for the stems, I'm mixing that parchment with like a little bit of a brown color to still whitewash or paint wash, I guess we could say at this point. Um, but it just gives it a little bit of different, different, differentiation <laughs> between the regular whitewash and the stem so I'm just roughly mixing that together because again we're just whitewashing it gosh paint washing it <laughs> on the stems now um, and let's see let's see if we let's see if we like it so not a huge difference but it is just enough to kind of differentiate hey I did it between the two. Love, love, love. Yeah. So, and just a little bit coming up here. Doing the stem. This red or terracotta color is so pretty. It's hard for me to want to cover it, but I just, I really like how these turned out. Let this dry for, I don't know, it's, re it's really hot out here today. So probably an hour, half hour, probably an hour. I'm gonna come out here and then I will spray it with some sealant and then they are ready to go out on display. So excited. So I'm editing the video and I wanted to tell you what I used for the sealant for those pumpkins. Um, it's just Rust-Oleum um, Matte Clear Enamel is what I used. And I just spray it all over. It doesn't need to be like, you know, real heavy coats. Just one good light coat around the whole thing will suffice. But I just wanted to make sure that you knew what sealant I used. There are some times where I'm like, well, what product is it that they're using? They say sealant and I don't know what that means. So I want you to know what that means. I use um, Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. Stops rust. <laughs> Thank you all so much for clicking on our video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again so much, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.